G'day, my name's Brian from Beijing Tech. We're going to have a look at this Dell DA310 adapter. Now this supersedes the previous model, which is the Dell DA300. Now I really love using this adapter. And we're gonna have a look at what has improved from the previous model on the DA310. Of course, the first initial thing you can see is the DA310 is silver in color and the old DA300 is black in color. Now what has changed? The first major change you see is the DA310 now has two USB type A ports. They are USB 3.2 Gen 2s, whereas the previous mods only had one USB type A port here. The next major change, and this is a big change, is the USB type C port. And of course, I one does have USB type C port, but this one here, this USB type C port, could not do power delivery. Now the DA310, it can do power delivery up to 90 watts. So it will do pass-through power, so you can plug in your normal laptop adapter and plug it in here, and it will charge your laptop by, of course, the USB type C cable that you plug in, which is absolutely fantastic. Now the other major change you see is something you don't actually see physically, but you actually do feel it. And that is the USB type A ports, as well as the USB type C ports. If you use them to plug peripherals or more than likely flash drives or external hard drives, you can use both of these or and also the USB type C port all at the exact same time. So it works on simultaneously. Now the DA300 on the other hand was not able to do that. It would only use the USB type A port or the USB type C port. And which one comes first is the first peripheral you plug in. So if you have a USB type C peripheral plugged into the USB type C port, the USB type A port peripheral would not work at all. Now this isn't the case in the DA310, they actually fixed that problem and I have tested that out. But else, besides that, it's all pretty much the same. And we've got, of course, with the Ethernet, it still has pass through Mac address and also supports Pixie Boot, which is great to see. It's the same as the old one there. The operating temperature of the Dell DA310, even with a display connected to the adapter, was averaging at 34 degrees Celsius. When you have a flash drive connected to the DA310 adapter and it's transferring data, hit a maximum of 36 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good in terms of temperatures. It's not crazy hot. Now this question might be asked about the DA310, and we do know that with the DA310, it's only able to do one display at a time. Now it's either the HDMI port, display port, or the VGA port. Now, I know this might be asked is how about the USB type C monitor? Because it does have a USB type C port as well. Now, is that counted as one of the displays or can you do dual displays for itself? So, what I'll do is I'll do that test right now. So at the moment, we've got a display port on the right, monitor connected, and we can see it's in extended mode as well. So what I'll do is I'll connect the USB type C monitor, which is the one on the left here, and I can see it's done something because it's found something there, but it has not displayed it at all. So what I'll do, just to show that I have got it connected, I'm gonna take the display port monitor off. Uh, it's found it's turned off and it's trying to do something. And there we go, we've got the USB type C monitor now turned on and doing extended mode as well. So what I'll do is again, I'll just put this into, connect this up with the display port. See if that will work again. Will it do anything? No, nope, does not look like it's able to do two displays through this DA310, regardless if it's USB type C or any other ports. So it's only able to do one single display. As you can see, we can hear there's something that's trying to turn on the, the display, but unfortunately it's not able to bring it up at all um, for the second monitor. I hope you found this video informative or you enjoyed it. Even to support my channel, smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom screen, I do try to upload a new video every week. And if you want to support me even further, I do have a membership which you can click on that join button. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll catch you in next video.